This is everything you might have missed from the brand new EA Sports FC 24 reveal live stream. Now I'm a bit of a skeptic when it comes to EA Sports and their promises because they very rarely deliver but I'm going to try and be as fair and unbiased as possible throughout this video. Now it was clear to see in this live stream that EA's biggest concern is that they are changing the name from FIFA to EA Sports FC 24. Now if you're not up to date on this the reason it's changing is because FIFA the governing body for football is asking EA Sports for too much money for the naming rights to the game. EA have basically said enough is enough and they've refused to pay the amount and they're just going to rename their game to FC24 instead of FIFA. But this brings about a whole host of problems. One of the biggest issues that people had with this is they thought that by doing this EA would not have the licensing to all the teams and all the clubs, all the stadiums, all the kits etc in game. So the first 15 minutes of this entire live stream was pretty much EA just saying, guys, you're not going to have to play with Man Red or Man Blue like you did back on PES 6. Don't worry, we've got you. They went through and they named loads of new licenses they've picked up. The biggest of which is like a multi-year deal with the Premier League. So they'll have like all the exclusive rights to all the players and all of that sort of stuff for the next like probably like three or four years. They've also done a multi-year exclusive deal with UEFA so that they have the rights for the Champions League and the two Europe. European Cups beneath it. Now a lot of the stuff on this list we've actually revealed on this channel weeks ago so if you want to be up to date make sure you follow me because I'm ahead of the curve. They were paraded around the fact that they've got women in Ultimate Team. We've known this for weeks and we actually know more than they showed in the real trailer because they've already confirmed Alex Scott who was actually on stage as one of the heroes in the game and then we've got Mia Hamm who's going to be an icon. We also knew that they were going to be bringing in the Women's Champions League to the game but it was also announced today that they are going to be bringing La Liga F, which is the female version of the Spanish League. And I'm not going to say the full name, but basically the Bundesliga female version is also in the game too. They've also got this new thing called FC Futures, which is a really nice PR piece that they could put early into their reveal. Effectively, they're going to be taking 10 million quid and then giving it to like grassroots football to help, you know, youth teams develop, get them equipment, training, all those sorts of things. But then I was like, hang on a second, how much does EA actually make from Ultimate Team? So I went and did some research and in the period from March 2020 to April 21, so we're talking a year period from Ultimate Team alone, they made 1.62 billion US dollars. And it's been reported that the game is actually grossing even more now than it ever has in any previous years. So God knows what it might be now. And 10 million is an absolute fraction of a fraction of that amount. So it's a nice piece of PR, but 10 million is not actually going to go that far in the grand scheme of things when you spread it across the whole world. That's what they said. It's a whole worldwide fun that they're putting together there. And by this point, I was just like, reveal the game. Show us what we're here to see. We want to know stuff about Ultimate Team. We want to know stuff about gameplay. Let us know now. Firstly, Hyper Motion V. What the heck is it? EA have been chucking the name about for a while. They've even chucked it onto the end of the second Spanish league. So they're now La Liga hypermotion. Effectively, volumetric capture is where loads and loads of cameras are dotted about from loads of different angles. They record something that's happening and then they can feed it into a computer and get like a 3D kind of like simulation of it. So this is what EA are doing with like real life football matches. And their example was when Erling Haaland scored this crazy goal, they actually fed that information into their computer and that crazy goal that was scored was actually computerized and turned into an animation which would then go live in the game whilst the game is still out in one of their updates. Which is really, really cool because it means that the game's going to be evolving and you could potentially score some amazing goals at the end of the season that you can never have scored at the start. On that one, I'm going to give them kudos because that actually does sound really, really cool. However, they then just went straight on to the next point, which is the Frostbite engine and what new stuff we can expect from it. They've been using the Frostbite engine for like the last four or five years to build FIFA in. And the new things we can expect are EA Sports Sapien, which they didn't really explain very well so I still have no idea what it is. GPU cloth. So a big selling point of what's new in the engine is that the clothes are able to move more realistically. And then we also have match day where they can create like a custom match day animation for your game against whoever it is that you're playing or whatever the scenario is. And I've got to say it's so underwhelming like that does not fill me with confidence that the game is going to be any different to how it has been for the last like three or four years. And then another big selling point that they had was play styles. So the example they used to demonstrate what play styles are is is Sam Kerr's running down the pitch, she takes a shot and it goes in. And the matey on the stage goes, if Sam Kerr didn't have her play style, then she wouldn't have scored this goal. But because she's equipped with the finesse, 
Yes, the finesse play style, she scored it. Now, don't, am I being stupid here? We already have traits. Is this just traits, like, literally being rebranded on something new and they're just using it as a selling point? Let me know what you think down in the comments section because I'm a little bit confused. Here's a piece of information that wasn't in the reveal, though. We have got Ultimate Team Evolutions. You can see this screenshot with Mukoko here. Basically, you can create your own club legends by upgrading players via evolution objectives. So you play with a player, do an objective, and he gets upgraded. That's all the information we have on that, so we'll have to wait until more is released. One thing that was mentioned but not much detail given to was was FC Tactical. I'm actually kind of excited about this. It was described as a turn-based game, and if you don't know what turn-based game, chess would be a great example where one person goes, then the other person goes. We saw something similar with League of Legends where they brought out Team Tactical, and that was a big hit. So I'm hoping for something similar, just something completely outside the normal realm of FIFA that we can get stuck into that will just be a bit different. They then waffled on about FC Pro, which was kind of like them talking about bringing all the pro like world into one thing, but didn't really say if that was going to be replaced placing pro clubs or not. Didn't really get it. And then it happened. We saw a gameplay trailer. You'll have seen loads of bits of it throughout this video as we've gone. But as you can see, up until now, all of it's been cinematic. And you cannot trust cinematic stuff that's coming out of EA. This looks like it could have been the FIFA 16 trailer. I'm not going to lie. It looks exactly the same. When they do this thing where they've got all the different angles, it just doesn't really give you a feel of what the game is going to be like. However, it happened. They showed us a little bit of gameplay. Here, here it is. I'm, okay, no. It was literally there for a second. You saw it zoomed out. There he was on the pitch. That was literally the only piece of actual gameplay footage for the entire video. That, the, the live stream was about 45 minutes, guys. So we had one second. One second of actual gameplay of what the game might look like. And I won't lie, it looks exactly the same, but of course it's going to. It's just how it feels like nothing really matters until you get your hands on the actual game. Up until that point, you're not really going to get any information on how this game plays until you've got it in your own hands. Even the beta's no good because they'll just do a day one patch that will make it completely different. And then they did the big reveal, which we'd already done a couple days ago on the channel for the cover star of FC24. It's not going to be Mbappe. Move aside, lad. It's going to be Erling Haaland who walked out in this absolute... I, I don't know. I, I can't decide whether I absolutely love this or absolutely hate it. It's so mustard. But yes, Erling Haaland is going to be kicking the ball on the front cover of FC24. A new era of FIFA slash FC24 is about to begin. Are you guys excited? I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see another FC24 video, then just click right here.